Good morning, party people. I am not sure whose idea it was for me to make a move. Man, this moving stuff is stressful. A lot of stuff to do. Decisions to make. Once upon a time, me and Diane was living like a king. Had a king-size bed. Still do have a king-size bed. Well, king-size beds don't fit in any U-Haul trailer. Found that out few minutes ago now I have to rent a truck so instead of me renting a couple of trailers I was trying to rent three of them make my move and that would have put me up around six hundred dollars I gotta rent a truck it's gonna cost about two thousand dollars because Penske who is the only people that have a truck available for me to move this weekend they won't let me use my u-haul tow dog i gotta use their tow dog so anyway while you're watching this video i should be on my way to oklahoma city i'm taking queen b up to oklahoma city to park it store it whatever you want to call it for a couple weeks couple months at my cousin's place in oklahoma city then i gotta double back and get that so I gotta find a place to leave the trailer up there, the car dolly, because her place don't have room for a car dolly, and her uh, homeowners association don't let you leave anything outside. So I need to find either a backyard or somebody's garage or something like that, leave this car dolly until I can double back pick up Queen Bee. It's always something. So anyway, I checked the air filter in Panther. It's good. I evidently put one in there. It's a Napa filter. I hadn't bought one of those, so I must have got that from a salvage yard somewhere. Look, looked pretty good. So it must have looked brand new when I got out of the salvage yard. And then I'm going to try to get back to Albuquerque tonight. Today is Tuesday. Going out to Oklahoma City and back. Start packing again. But my car dolly, my right light is not working. I don't think it's working for anything. Brakes, none of that stuff. So I'm getting ready to test that dolly, see why that light's not working. Yeah, I probably got a bad light or a broke wire somewhere. And the wire harness on that tow dolly. I'm going to check my harness wiring real quick, make sure it works right, and then jump on that tow dolly wire. Let's check that out real quick. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Taking little red for a test drive, Elizabeth said when she gets up on the highway about 6570, she hear a buzzing sound. I corrected the time on the clock. Needed an ink pen tip to do that. It was an hour off. So we're gonna run this real quick and maybe do her antenna. I suspect that it's something with her windshield. She had a windshield replaced. Looks like it's actually a little low. They didn't put the spacer in there like they were supposed to. And I thought it would be the trim at the top of the windshield vibrating. And uh, we'll see here in a couple minutes. Get down to the highway. Well, this is acceptable road work for Cincinnati. They've been working on this road for five or six years. And now they're officially done. And this, <laughs> this is how the road ended up. It goes the road crew satisfied with their with their uh, endings, I guess. Oh no, that, that was a school place. I, I was in the school zone, supposed to be going 20 miles an hour. But anyway, this is Queen City, freshly paved road. What a freaking mess. Engine shaking. That didn't sound good. That fan kicking on. I 
really don't see anything here shaking. I do see some oil up here for some reason. <clears throat> Got a hard mount up there. Look like that IPD mount finally tore out. Uh, maybe not. <clears throat> Does look off center. That's probably torn. Couldn't find any real vibrations or noises. When she initially told me about this noise when I woke up this morning, I was thinking the seal would be coming out of this windshield. This windshield is installed a little low. It's supposed to put spacers in there to make it. Maybe that's making some of the noise, the wind catching over there. But, uh... I'll chalk this up under. It'll get worse. Man, that dash, it's freaking noisy as crap. Look at how it's all busted up in there. These dang roads. Her antenna's gone. Look like the whole mass come out. She got hung up somewhere. Let me see if I got one with me. The mass that I have is not in good shape. Doesn't go up all the way. Ugh. Man, I don't know what's going on with that. Must be the one I got out of Queen B. And it doesn't go down all the way. I put a switch on her car. Better than nothing. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.